Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're going to look back in history at one of the most amazing smart devices that was released 10 years ago by Sonoff. This is the Sonoff Basic, and this product has been used over the years. It's been flashed with Tasmota, ESP Home. I remember watching the old days of Dr. Z's playing around with these devices. Well, Sonoff has just released the latest version, Gen 5 of this device so let's have a look at it so the gen 5 is selling for only $5.99 i'm not sure there's many smart home products that you can be buying for that sort of price from a reputable supplier so this time they've paired it with the matter protocol so it's going to be connecting to your other systems via matter over wi-fi this device is still ideal for wiring up in series with your light or lamp to control it easily. As with most of the Sonoff devices today, it's compatible with Google Home, HomeKit, Amazon, SmartThings, and of course Home Assistant. It seems they've done a lot of testing on this device. You can see they're recommending 40,000 relay clicks in the lifespan. I don't think any of us will ever get near that number. There are of course hundreds of devices that you could control with this little smart switch. The Gen 5 has a maximum load of 10 amps or 2400 watts. Wiring is as simple as the original basic. You have your live and neutral coming in anywhere from 100 to 240 volts and going out to the load. Once again, always get your qualified electrician to do this. So let's have a look what we get in the box. Just open it up. So we've got the basic itself as you can see we've got a message here saying that we need to watch the video before we install it and i think that's got to do with the way that we open this case so along with that we have an instruction guide it's got the matter pairing code over there um, as well as the matter pairing code on the device itself we also have this little device that's been provided here for prizing open the case so my understanding is that we remove this little bit of plastic over here we'll just stick that somewhere and keep it and then you place this into the hole here and from what i could see you just clip it up like that and there we go super simple open it up so inside we've got something that looks quite similar to the original basic it's a little bit different we don't have that blue a little LED that was included with the original one. Um, we can see over there we've got our relay itself. We've got our terminals for the power coming in and the power going out. And we have some other little board over here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Now along with this, Sonoff did provide me some of their 3D printed um, base or mounts. This one is used for mounting it on a DIN rail. And then this one they've provided is used for mounting it inside of a light. I'm gonna show you now how that works. What I'm thinking is that you need to put a magnet in here, which will then basically hold this device inside of your light on a magnet. So literally the Sonoff Basic just fits in there and you then connect that well, the magnet will hold it in. Unfortunately, this is slightly big for my application. So what I would do here is just get some double-sided tape and mount it in over there. And then you could bring your wire coming in and wire it up to this light. This would allow you to control your light directly at the light instead of having to open up the switch. And this would overcome the problem of sometimes the switch, um, the flush box behind your switch is too small to actually fit a relay inside, then this is a great option. Now remember that before installing any Matter devices, you need to have the Matter integration set up in Home Assistant. So now I open up my Home Assistant, I go down to Settings, select Devices and Services, and now we're going to select the Add Integration and we're going to select a Matter device. This is a new device, so we haven't added it yet. We scan the QR code. Now, one thing to bear in mind, you do need to have this device reasonably close to your Wi-Fi router when doing this. Otherwise, you may have issues. There we go. You can see it's joined. It took about 30 seconds or so. And now we can give it a name and we can save it into Home Assistant. So now we have our Matter-based Gen 5 
all set up within Home Assistant. As you can see, we've got complete local control over it. The only other entity we have here is the power on behavior. So if the power went off, you could select whether it either comes on, toggles, or goes back to the previous state. So now that it's all set up, you can see that there is a tiny blue indicator light over there. When it was first in the peering mode, it was flashing. Now it's a solid blue LED. And you can see over here that we can click the switch and turn it on and off using the actual manual button like that, which will then trigger the relay. So this is quite cool. You could actually have this as a floor switch that you could leave on the floor and you could just use your foot to turn your lamp on and off with the sewn off as well as having it as a smart device. So overall in summary I've had a lot of fun playing around with this latest version of the Sonoff Basic. I find that the matter was super easy to get a local connection and I could then easily share it amongst other networks in my home. The other thing about this device is that it's really simple and easy to connect there's no complex wiring involved and it just works. So honestly, big shout out to Sonoff. Thank you for sending me this device free of charge. This is not a sponsored video, but it was a real pleasure to play with this real OG legend of 10 years now. And I'm so glad that you're still making it and improving it. Well, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.